Today we're looking at blind drawing. We're going to practice our observation. I've got some drawing tips to help you. Number one says, if it's an object you are drawing, place it onto a white page. I'm drawing an object on my phone. It's on a white background to make it easier for me to see. If I was going to, to draw from this chips packet, I'm going to take it and place it on a white piece of paper. This creates a white background so that it's much easier for me to see the object. Next up, it's time to actually look at the object. So I'm taking my phone, I'm going to close up, look close up into all the different sections. Look at the different lines I can see, look at the different shapes I can see, where does it pinch in, where does it go out. I'd do the same with the real life chips packet if I was drawing from that. The next rule is draw with your hand first. Space the drawing out on the page using your hand. So I've taken my page here and I'm spacing the drawing out. Where do I think it will fit? This is a handy tip for you to try and imagine actually what your drawing is going to look like. Next tip is checking should your page be landscape or portrait. So if this is a chips packet, it's quite long. Should it be portrait or should it be landscape? No, I'm pretty sure it's going to be portrait. You're just checking which one fits better. I'm just writing blind drawing and my name at the top of the paper. Next, I'm going to take a spare piece of paper and punch my pencil through the hole in the center of the paper. This is now blocking me from seeing my drawing. It's focusing my observation, my looking, on the actual object. Now I cannot see my drawing as I do it. For the purpose of this exercise, I am going to take away that paper so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm spending the entire time looking at the lines on the chips packet on my mobile phone. I am not looking at my drawing, I am completely focused on my chips packet. If you watch, I am looking at every lump and bump and line that I can see on this chips packet. I'm even looking closer. I want to make sure I'm drawing all of the lines that I can actually see on the chips packet. If there's five lines at the top, I'm drawing five lines at the top. I'm not missing out on any. I'm also drawing the creases and I'm going to draw the creases at the bottom too. You're drawing what you see not what you think the chips packet looks like. I'm now gonna start the pictures on the chips packet. I'm gonna draw the bottle of ketchup first. It may not look like a bottle of ketchup, but I'm trying to get all the shapes and angles correct. I'm then drawing the chips. Oh, first the tomato, and then the chip shape after that. I'm following the shapes. I am following the lines that I can see. You may not think this looks like an exactly perfect um, packet of Lay's chips, but I am doing exactly as I see. Remember, I haven't lifted my pencil either. If I lift my pencil, I won't be able to find my place again. Now I'm doing the Lay's logo, and this time I'm just gonna write Lay's in Arabic before I finish up. You can see all of the details that I focused on. You can see the small wavy lines at the very bit top, you can see the creases in the Lay's chips, and you can see the logo and the drawings also. The last tip on the drawing tips is about hard thick lines and thin soft lines. Make sure that you're using maybe hard thick lines for main areas and like in this area here where I use soft thin lines also. Thicker lines maybe for the edges, softer lines for small little detailed areas. This will make your artwork even better.